for, for the topics we've covered here, I would like to implement a method which basically renames all of the columns to be of lower camel case and to also cast them into the right data type without having to infer the schema during the reading, but rather with an explicit um, daytime that we cast the columns into after we have read them into a string data type. So and that we would do we, uh, using ddf.select method. So once we have a data frame df, which has no schema inferred, so all of the columns are of type string, we can use the df.select method to basically select all of the columns, for example, df, and then we use the date column. And we say we want to cast, we want to cast it into the date type. And we have to use these brackets here again. And now we don't want to import the string type only. But now we want to import all of the types which are specified in this package, which includes the date type as well. So we're casting it to being to be of date type. And then we add an alias to be of lower camel case. And that we do um, as well for the open price. But this one we don't cast to the date type, but rather to the double type. And we rename it to be of lowercase. And then we do that for the close price as well. That's supposed to be a double type. And here we have the close price. And let's also use the high, which is of double as well. So simply rename. And then the low, low. So that would basically give us a new data frame, which is renamed and has cast its columns to the correct data types. Now I would like to implement an entire method, which is responsible for loading a data frame of stock data by um, being handed in a symbol name so it knows which file to read from the past in symbol name and it should also rename the columns to the column names we are going to use in our project and with the correct data types of the columns so let's say we call this method load stock data and it takes an argument symbol which is of type string and in here we can now uh, define our method so the first thing the method is supposed to do is basically to read a data frame without inferring the schema, but inter interpreting the um, first line in the CSV file as the header. Also, it should read the CSV file, which is, rep um, is specifying the data for the symbol we're passing in. So the argument for our method is the symbol name and we pass it in. So we read the respective CSV file for the passed in symbol. We then store this uh, red data frame into a variable called df. And on this df, we basically using the select method to rename and cast all of the columns. So let me put them into the method here. So in Python, the indentation plays a large role. So here, the result from the select is actually a new data frame. So it's a new reference. And this we would like to return from our function call. And um, so that we can store the reference to our new DF in another variable. So for example, our program, we could use it like this. Now we instantiate a spark session and then we call load. And then we call load stock data and we pass in the symbol. So AAPL for Apple and I have a small typo here. So let me rename this. It's supposed to be data. So we load the stock data and store it in a reference. So for example, AAPL equals this data frame. And we can use this now to basically 
print the result to the console. And if I execute this now, we can see if it's working correctly. Hey, and sorry for interrupting your learning. If you would like to become a pro level Spark engineer within a short period of time, I would like to point you to my individual coaching program, which you can find in my academy. Now I will work with you over the course of 12 weeks as if we were colleagues in a professional working setup, meaning we will have weekly sessions and in between I will ask you to complete assignments and we are going to do code reviews together. Also, you will get access to all of the video courses that exist in my academy and you can ask me any question you have about Apache Spark. Within this 12 weeks, I will teach you everything I know about Apache Spark from 10 years of experience as a freelance data engineer. In this academy, you can also find many video courses, for example, on PySpark and Spark with Scala, also an in-depth course on understanding Spark internals. All right, let's waste no time and continue on the course. Well, we have defined this method here it's complaining about the file formatting so i fix this one and if we look at the results we see that we basically get a data frame which has five columns the open close high and low prices and the date and these are having the correct data types by having them cast explicitly rather than implicitly by looking at the entire file so if i print the schema as well we should see that our four double values are of type double and the date column is of type date. Now in the assignment, I would like to ask you to implement a method load stock data, which takes as argument a symbol, which is the string for the symbol we would like to load and then loads the CSV file without inferring the schema and renaming the columns and casting them to the correct data types.